think you know, um, um, it's very important to understand that no church can live on its own today. Even if we are powerful, even if we have money, even if we have, you know, political uh, uh, safety and security, I think no church can live on each other. We are in need of each other more than we think. Because I think, you know, our world is collapsing and our world is losing every kind of understanding, you know, for the other. Our, our world is not becoming secular, it's becoming <coughs> more selfish. Mm-hmm. And that is really the problem which we are facing. I'm really also sorry to what happened in Ottawa. I mean, I've never, Bishop asked me, have you expected that? I know I didn't expect it. I think, and you know, we were discussing among ourselves, the delegation, uh, Robert Granke, Bishop Susan, and Bishop Michael, uh, uh, you know, uh, and uh, Tom Brooks, we were discussing about ourselves, you know, how did this happen? We are still also living in a shock because we entered the, the building, I think, three, four times. I mean, every time they check us from from mm-hmm. the hair to the toe, mm-hmm. you see. And never, you know, and how did it happen? And, you know, what has happened? But, you know, it's very important that uh, the Canadian people uh, do not resort to hatred in such, of such an act. I'm sure it's individual. I'm sure, I'm sure those who support him are people who do not believe in the values which Canada believes in. And I believe, you know, you have to be more united now as a nation, especially in such a situation which you have faced, and not really only to, uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, uh, to stereotype others. Because, you know, the first information that came, because he had this Arabic, you know, uh, 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 scarf, they immediately say he's an Arab or a Muslim. I think, you know, it's very important to understand you know, the vast majority of Muslims are not like this. The vast majority, the, ma- the Muslims we live with are Muslims who are good people, who are normal like us. They want to live in dignity. They want to live, uh, they want they have one future for their children. They don't want to see the violence or the killing which we are noticing with ISIS or so on. So I mean, it's very important for us to understand, you know, uh, uh, that <clears throat> that we must be united together to combat any kind of extremism that existing today in the world. I mean, it doesn't mean there aren't Canadian also extremists among you, even if you are living in tranquility. I mean, the ISIS, which has brought, uh, which has really brought our attention to various issues, did not come out of the moon. <laughs> it came, it came, you know, I mean, Europe now is in a shock because 500 from Britain and even British citizens who were born in Britain, 500 from Germany, 500 from France, 89 from Sweden. So, I mean, we are asking if you are living in Sweden, if it's a much more comfortable with all the social services they get than even Canada or United States, I tell you frankly. Why? So I mean, this puts us to think that there are sources in the world who really attract the young people to do what is not right. And I think we have two churches to work together to combat any kind of extremism that is facing us. And I think my church, we are committed into that. And of course, in the Lutheran Federation, we are also committed to that.